Hi there. Welcome to the NetSquared Vancouver Public Address System, hosted by The Hive. There is a boatload of cables and equipment in the back room, and if you need a mixer, we've got one of those too. But for most events, all you want to do is amplify your presenter or play music from a phone or iPod. In those simple use cases, we'll walk you through the process of setting up the PA. You're going to need the following. A speaker, and we suggest you use speaker number one, which is labeled, and the cables that you're going to find in the milk crate. So in the first use case, we've got a presenter and we want to set them up with a mic. In which case you're going to need a speaker, a power cable, an XLR cable, and a microphone. Here's how you're going to connect it all up. First, elevate your speaker onto a table, a chair, or one of the stands in the closet. Second, ensure that the power switch on the microphone and on the speaker is off and that the level is set to the lowest possible level, which is turned to the left. Third, attach the power cord. Fourth, plug in the XLR cable to the mic in jack. Fifth, attach the mic to the other end of the cable. Six, now's the time to actually turn on the power. Remember, make sure that all your levels are set low. Now number seven, turn on the microphone. It's got a little switch and if in the up is the on position and slowly raise the level until you've reached your desired volume. And then number eight, if the speaker is cutting out a little bit, you can increase the mic sensitivity using the gain knob, which is near the top. Now I'm going to walk you through an alternate setup, which is a speaker and when music setup. So you're trying to play music from a laptop, an iPod, a phone, what have you. In this case, you're going to need a speaker, a power cable. You're also going to need a mini jack to phono cable and of course you're going to need your music playing device. So in this case what you want to do of course is plug in the phono cable into the second line in jack of the speaker and you're done. Now all you need to do is put everything away. Step one is to turn all the levels down on the speaker and turn off the microphone. Then you can turn off the power to the speaker and then you disconnect all the cables and beautifully coil them up so nothing is cranked or sad. Then you return everything to the milk crate and put everything back into the events closet. You're basically done I'm going to give you just two quick tips before we close. To remove the XLR cable from the speaker, you'll see that there's a little metal tab on the left. All you need to do is press that metal tab in and then pull the cable straight out. Otherwise, it'll be stuck and terrible things will happen. Lastly, let's talk about how to avoid feedback. Feedback happens when the microphone is picking up sound that comes from the speaker creating this loop. To avoid this terrible situation, ensure that your presenter is behind the speaker. If your presenter is in front of the speaker, like right here, you run the chance of feedback and sad ears. So remember, behind the speaker and everything is good.